Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing basically a carbon copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 in Ravenfield. I have put together a collection of like five or so mods that turn the Ravenfield experience into a very, very fun experience that is basically Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyways, as you may have noticed, we are playing with very old guns. And also kind of weird ones. Like, what is what is this gun? It, like, to chamber a new round, you spin this drum magazine. But it's not really a drum magazine because I, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, here's a good time where I can showcase the Deadeye ability. Because if you do play Red Dead Redemption, you would know that Deadeye is a thing in this game. Which is basically just aimbot. I really have no other way to explain it. And, oh, the second I spawn in, I just get completely killed. That's not fair, is it? What? I spawned in the exact same place again. No, get me out of here, please. Get me out of here now. The one disadvantage with guns like this is that their fire rate is awful. I think I'm safe in this house for now. Oh, I see a guy in the window there. Is that a teammate? Yeah, that's a teammate. Okay. Did I just walk through a wall? Is that with every single house? No, I can't walk through the wall in this house. That's weird. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be checking out three different maps, including this one. So this one is, I'd say say a medium range map it's not incredibly long range but it's also not really that close range i'd say so you can still benefit from running a long range rifle like i am right now anyways the second map we're checking out is a lot more long range and finally the third map is one that honestly it looks really incredible so i'd recommend for you guys to stick around to the end of the video because basically we're going to be participating in a train battle where we have to fight over entire trains while while they are moving it's really it's a cool map oh do i hear music i hope i'm allowed to play that kind of music on youtube videos because i think i hear music it's coming from the saloon oh this is an enemy flag i sure hope they don't spawn in here right now oh they're coming to get me all right well good thing i have slow motion not just dead i also have slow motion do you guys hear that i'll let you guys listen What is this guy doing? Why are you just standing there and not shooting me? Anyways, I don't think I can listen to the music much longer without being killed by these enemies. Whoa, that guy just snuck up on me. But they just keep funneling in, one by one. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm still alive. There's another one. There we go. And another one. What? He's not dead. I thought it was a headshot. All right, well, I think we captured the flag. Nice. We captured the saloon. Now our soldiers get to, well, they get to listen to a ghost play the piano. What? Wait, I know I'm going to die coming out here, but I have to look at this. What are the soldiers doing? I mean, they aren't really soldiers. I don't think their outfit reminds me of a soldier very much, but honestly, wait, I need to check this out for myself. I'm going to go down there, hopefully not die. I am at full HP, so maybe I won't die. All right, there we go. Yep. Nope. You can just straight up walk inside of this deck, which makes no sense, but okay. Anyways, on that note, I think it's time to go to the next map. What? Why am I in the water? This isn't how ground works. Okay. Uh, can I can I get up onto the surface? Why did the bots get to get up, but I don't? As you may have noticed, this is the second map, but it may be a map that doesn't actually work. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. I'm I'm honestly stuck swimming on the ground. It doesn't make sense. I know. But it seems like my friends here are swimming as well. But I also s what? <gasps> no. It happened for a second. It happened for a second. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I got up onto land somehow. Where was it? It was here somewhere. No, I was able to get up onto land somehow. I don't remember how. It seems, even though this map looks really nice, I'm going to be honest. Like, from the map and stuff, it looks beautiful. Uh, sadly, I cannot actually play on it. Okay, then we get to check out the train map, which is a map that I'm honestly pretty excited for. All right, as you can see, we are on a train, and we are starting at the back, at the very back. And there's like a collection of i think like five different trains all together and as you can see all of them are moving along and i'm pretty sure it's not the trains that are moving but the landscape because i feel like that wouldn't really work with ravenfield physics you'd be like tossed to the ground every once in a while if the trains were moving anyways our loadout here is a shotgun which oh 
That's a cool mechanism. All right, here we have a thing called the pepper box. What? What is it? Oh, you have to hold it so it fires. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's the reload like? I just take off the front of the gun, because why not? That seems like the smartest thing to do. Alright, I haven't been paying much attention to fighting, and it looks like our team has already advanced like really far up the trains. Oh, here we have our first sighting of enemies. It looks like this shotgun is really effective. Yeah, it can like one hit kill most enemies. Obviously, as long as you're close enough, I don't think it can get them at like a hundred meters. Yeah, no, that, that, I think this will take like three hits to get that guy. Yeah, I was right. Oh, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this video right now, a like or maybe even a subscribe would be greatly appreciated by me. Oh, I got two kills with this thing, which really honestly doesn't seem like it should be a very effective gun. All right. Right now we have the same shotgun, but we are going to be checking out a few more secondaries. First of all, we have the lady's pistol, which is what it's actually called, as you can see. It looks like it only holds two bullets. I don't think it would be very effective, honestly. I see no point in using that over this shotgun. Hey, I haven't been using Deadeye very much recently. Oh no! Did I just accidentally mark my teammates? L let me stop, let me stop. No, I need to stop, I need to stop. I actually just killed two of my teammates. I promise you, it automatically marks them. I didn't do that on purpose. Wait, this is the last flag. We've almost completely taken over all the trains. How amazing is that? Now let's take a break from that shotgun and let's upgrade to an elephant rifle. I'm not, I'm not kidding, I'm pretty sure this is an elephant rifle with really, really big bullets. Now, with a gun like this, it would make sense to have a reliable secondary because, well, this only holds two bullets. So it's probably pretty important to have something to back you up, just in case, you know, you miss both your bullets. Let's test this out. I'm not sure if it fires normal shotgun shells or if it's slugs. Oh, you can also fight on the rooftops, okay. There we go. It's honestly pretty easy to miss with this thing. Oh yeah, this thing definitely uses slugs. Yeah, there's no way a shotgun shell would reach that far. Oh, okay, this is when having a good secondary is really important. How did I miss all of my shots? Oh, do you see that? Okay, here's proof for you that the trains aren't moving, but the landscape is. Because if the trains were moving, well, we'd be leaving that body behind. But since the ground's moving, it's like bouncing it up and down. That's pretty cool. Let's use a bit of our dead eye. There we go. Easy. Might as well use slow motion, though. I feel like slow motion and dead eye in this game are basically the same thing. But slow motion gives you a little bit more control. There we go. You know, if this thing had more bullets in it, it would honestly be so overpowered. It's just the fact that it only has two shells that makes it slightly less powerful. It still is a force to be reckoned with, though. Oh, we've, we're down to our final two slugs. But now that we've run out of bullets, I think it's time to switch to a new weapon. I think I've only got one left in the mod pack. Oh, yes, I do. But this I don't think this is a very fitting gun to be using on this map. I was going to use this gun on the map the second map you know the one that's supposed to be longer range but we ended up falling through the ground because that map is so long range i thought i'd use the sniper but i guess we can't so we're using a sniper on like the closest range map out of all the maps in this video i mean it's pretty fun it only has one bullet but if you land that one bullet it's very satisfying and we won't have the problem of uh, running out of bullets because well guess what this thing has like 50 bullets spare where the elephant gun i'm pretty sure had like what 10 let's see if i can hit a no scope yep easy can i hit another one there we go hey it's not too bad i think it has 100 percent accuracy even if you're not aiming. I'm surprised the sniper rifle on a map like this is even slightly effective. Do you hear that music? Do you guys hear that? Oh, we've won. Victory. Probably because our points are a lot more than the enemy. Yeah. Anyways, the last thing I think I'm going to do is jump off the train because we haven't done that yet and I need to see what happens when you do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's about what I expected. You die and then your body does a really bouncy and weird ragdoll. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!